officer the recruit training regiment. I'm going to address y'all here for a couple of minutes and I'm going to turn my back and address you young men. First thing I'd like to do is thank each and every one of you for being here today. In particular, I want to thank the parents. If it were not for you, if it were not for you laying the character of your young man, the moral fire, his understanding of service to others before self, then he would not be here today. We must have that foundation from the families in order to build our core values of honor, courage, and commitment here at Recruit Training. So, professionally, from all of us that work at this regiment of training these young men, we want to thank you. And you all been cheering for your young men out here on board, and this is what I'm going to ask of you all. I want you to give yourself a round of applause for your man and putting your young man here today. So let's hear it for yourself. individual but we recruit the entire family. Okay, if this is your first Marine that you had in your family, then what I'm going to do is tell you that you are now part of our extended Marine Corps family. You may not understand that right now, but I trust you. As your young man grows in the Marine Corps, you're going to realize that anybody who has a Marine in their family is part of our family. And I'd like to be the first one for the new families to welcome you to your new and extended Marine Corps family. So welcome aboard to each and every one of you. Thank you, man, for the naming ceremony. You're up close to your young man. You're hugging him. You're shaking his hand. You're going to see a few things are different about him. As you can tell from this run here, he is in the greatest physical condition he's ever been in his life. I'm going to have to tell you, he's going to look a little bit older. You may have set him here as a young man or a boy, but I guarantee you, he is a man now. You're going to notice he's more respectful. He's more confident. He's got more pride in himself. There's a lot of things you're going to notice about him that are all positive things. I'm here to tell you, we are a nation of war. Your young man's journey has just begun in our core. And whether he's going to spend the next four years or the next 24 years in our core, he needs your love and your support over that long haul. So the love and support you've given him while he's been here at Recruit Training, please, I'm telling you, he's going to continue to need that, and he's going to know what the challenges that lie ahead, that you are always there for him. Lastly, I want you all to enjoy today's great annual ceremony for his graduation, and please, when you get home, have a good, safe trip back home, and your young man may be a United States Marine at that point, but please, when he's on leave, please keep him safe. Make sure he's buckling up in that seatbelt when he's driving the vehicle and do everything to keep him safe because he is now part of the greatest military fighting organization in the world and we want to keep him safe while he's gone. Congratulate each and every one of you for completing this nation, if not the world's most difficult recruit trade. First thing I want to tell you all is you did not get your body plan. You just heard me tell your family and friends, particularly your parents, that you are here because of their support and what they have done and the foundation they've laid in your life. I want to tell you all, before you leave here, I want you to thank your peers to help you get through this challenging time because you cannot do this by yourself. I want you to thank your drill instructors. These great men that work 100 to 120 hours every single week, seven days a week for three years while they're stationed here. You shake their hand and you thank them for the time and effort that they put in you and the making of the United States of America. When you get back home, don't wait for the crew who gave this possibility to you. Go back to every mentor you have, I don't care if it's a school teacher, if it's a coach, an ex core neighbor, a religious leader that you've got. Thank them. Look them in the eye and thank them for the time and effort that they've put into you because you are now a United States Marine. Later today, at the Emerald Ceremony, the Emerald of our Corps may be momentarily held in your hand, but I guarantee you it's going to be forever ingrained in your heart and soul. From this day forward, you will always be a United States Marine, and there is no man or woman on the face of the And always, always 
Remember your core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Thousands of people before you may shed their blood, their sweat, and their tears. It is up to you to continue to fulfill their legacy, their heritage, and their tradition because they have paved the way for you early this side of the day for all of its needs. Once again, congratulations to each and every one of you. God bless you. Yourself,